we gave credit and respect to Mike Tomlin. Mm-hmm. Can we get some love to Russell Wilson? For sure. Can we show some love? No doubt. Some 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 serious respect to Russell Wilson. I mean, this guy was. They were calling him a scrub. Yeah, man. Two Said years ago. Dude, I remember the whole narrative was like out of town. As Russell Wilson played himself out of the Hall of Fame. Remember all those headlines and the uh, lower thirds? You wrote most of those. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this is what I hate sometimes. And this is like, I'm going to get back to LeBron shortly. But this is why I don't blame LeBron for getting off social media or listening to certain people sometimes. Because the great thing about social media is that everybody has an opinion and it brings awareness to a lot of things that goes on in society that needs to be addressed, right? Mm-hmm. The worst thing about social media is that everybody got an opinion. Yeah. And everybody feels like they got a voice, and the negative voices are the ones that are heard the most. They're always the loudest, man. And it's sometimes like, how did Russell Wilson go from a future Hall of Fame quarterback to a scrub that did not deserve to even be, win a Super Bowl or, or be in the league? Got, right yeah, to be in the league. And the best thing that ever he ever did was, you know, date or and marry Sierra and have kids with her. Well, like, I mean, I can't knock that. I mean, that's man. also you know top saying. three. Don't get me wrong now. That's, like, that's, you know, that's he Hall should of go fame. in the Hall of Fame that's just Hall of for fame that. material for the other Hall of exactly. Fame. Exactly. That's the Hall of Fame. But at the same time, Russell Wilson has, like, he's always stayed classy, mm-hmm. never allowed it to get under his skin. If he did allow it to get under his skin, he never showed it. Mm-hmm. Always a consummate teammate. You never heard him make any, any – waves in a locker room about this and that and how he was treated in Denver. Now, look, you know, was he given certain things in Denver and, and treated a certain way and maybe, he, you know, had a certain eccentric type personality when he was in Denver? Yeah, maybe. But he earned that from his days in Seattle. Denver gave him the money. They gave him the contract. They needed a quarterback. Now, is Russell Wilson that quarterback that's going to take a bad team and make them good? Or a good team and make them great? No. I think Russell Wilson is at the point of his career where you got to look at him like you looked at Peyton Manning when he went to Denver. And Peyton Manning was the final fit for a team that needed to get over the top and just added a quarterback that can help them not lose games, Mm -hmm. in a sense. And that's where Aaron Rodgers actually needs to be now with the Jets or any other team he goes to. Aaron Rodgers is not an uh, iconic – he's an iconic quarterback, but he's not a uh, superior quarterback anymore. He's not an elite quarterback anymore. He was once an elite quarterback, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, but elite quarterbacks are quarterbacks that can take a team who is mediocre to good and make them great. Aaron Rodgers is not that. Russell Wilson is not that quarterback. Russell Wilson is that guy that put him on the Steelers team, great culture, great defense, strong running game, good coaching, final fit. Just don't hurt us. Don't hurt us. Be smart with the football. Don't force anything. Peyton Manning, that's why Peyton Manning was so great, because Peyton Manning adjusted his game at the end of his career. That's why he won that last Super Bowl. Peyton Manning couldn't throw the ball 20 yards downfield coming off those neck injuries. Nope. But he was smart enough to realize, okay, let me hand the ball off here. Let me be smart with the football. Let me make the plays I need to make in situations I need to make them in. The plays he could make. The plays he could make. Let me play within to my with, within my ability, and I'm smart enough and good enough, and still I'm still paid Manning. They still got to so, so recognize. So still got to respect yeah. me. I can still make a play here and there. Yeah. So you're still gonna get respect because of the name alone. Aaron Rodgers same way. But if you try to put Aaron Rodgers or Russell Wilson or any of these quarterbacks that their glory years or their their elite years are past them, and you try and put them on the team and say, hey, take us to the glory land. We're a good team. We need you to take us to the glory land not going to be able to do that. He can take a pretty, really good team or a great team and get them over the hump. But he's not that quarterback anymore that's going to, hey, like Tom Brady back in the day. That's what made Tom Brady so special. That's what made Tom Brady special. Tom Brady only had one future Hall of Fame receiver in his career. One. How many run? How many great run? How many Hall of Fame running backs did he have in his career? Zero. None. Tom Brady took offenses like, and and early on, Tom Brady was what these quarterbacks, it's funny because Tom Brady early in his career was more like what these elite quarterbacks are later in their career. Tom Brady was that quarterback, it's never all, first five years, Tom Brady wasn't like all pro. Tom Brady would go to the Pro Bowl, but Tom Brady wasn't all pro. Tom Brady wasn't MVPs. Tom Brady would win Super Bowl MVPs. But Tom Brady was the type of quarterback that was smart enough 
hey, just don't hurt us. Don't hurt us. We got a great defense. We're going to run the football. We're going to grind it out. Bill Belichick's a great coach. We're going to do that. Then later on, when Tom Brady became that guy and just even more confidence, hey, I'm going to put you on my back. Come on. I'm going to take you to the promised land. And that's what Tom Brady brought to the table. That's what Tom Brady brought to the table. And so now these quarterbacks, at the end of their careers, got to be like what Tom Brady was at the beginning of his career. As crazy as that sounds. But that's how you win football games, and that's how you win championships. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.